Hello and welcome back to WePC. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, a GPU. Uh, we have the 3000 series RTX 3080. Uh, we've had quite a lot of comments and queries about how to install things like your SAG bracket, if you've got one, or if you should ha get a SAG bracket, uh, and also how to install drivers and things like that. So, um, I will show you, I'll st get started on that now. So we, we have previously opened this, we've been uh, testing um, the 3080 for a little while now, but just, uh, you know, if it was new for you, obviously you're going to get um, a couple of different things uh, with your GPU. Uh, this is the Gaming X Trio version. There are other versions that have, um, you know, different variations, but we'll be referring to the Gaming X Trio version today. So you want to take it out of your anti-static bag. Uh, I'll just put that here for now. Um, with the Gaming X Trio version, you do get a SAG bracket with it. Uh, with, so there's your SAG bracket, and then you also get um, these little bits of rubber that are a, a little bit of cushioning for your SAG bracket as well. Uh, so this is the computer that we used. Uh, you might have seen the video recently uh, about this XPG AIO. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to install the, the GPU on this as well. So. Always make sure that you're not plugged into the power. Obviously, we've taken the power lead out. Uh, it's turned off, there's no power in this anymore. Um, you don't want to electrocute yourself. So you look inside the computer, uh, on this particular motherboard, which is the X570 Plus, uh, there's two PCIe slots, this one and this one. Uh, I'm going to in be installing into this one today. Uh, these are both uh, PCIe X16. Sometimes you'll get like an X16 and an X8 or maybe you'll just get like one uh, PCIe slot. Uh, generally, I, I think the top one is usually an X16. Uh, I'd, I'd generally go with that one. Um, so if you look over here, you'll see these uh, little shield things. Um, with this particular GPU, if you look at the top here, you'll see the space for two screws. Uh, you'll be using these thumb screws uh, to fit uh, and to attach it to the actual uh, computer. And then also your SAG bracket as well. Um, you'll be unscrewing some of these ones down here uh, to attach to your SAG bracket as well. So I'm gonna start by just unscrewing these ones. Uh, so with this particular GPU, uh, I don't need to take the top one out, but I will take the rest of them out. So that just lifts off now. So this is where the GPU is going to fit. Uh, you can kind of um, test that a little bit just by sort of lining it up there. You can see that that's where uh, this particular GPU will screw into. And then with your uh, SAG bracket, um, obviously that needs to fit underneath the GPU. So you can see I also need to uh, take these two out as well. Your, your SAG bracket is going to fit kind of there and you can see we've used like the thick rubber uh, that's already attached to your SAG bracket, to be fair. Um, and you can see how that lines up um, the holes there at the bottom, and that's going to fit really nicely. And then you can kind of get an idea of how many screws need to come out, how many of the thumb screws. So I've got my screw on my magnetic screwdriver there um, to keep it in place. I'm just going to pop my SAG bracket in place there, screw it in. I'm not going to make it 100% tight just yet. Uh, I want to get all the screws in first. Make sure this is sort of as pushed up as it can go and then tighten all of these up. So you can see now that it's all sort of pushed up, um, we could probably fit this back on to that gap just to close that gap a little bit. Let's get a bit tight in there. There you go. So you can see how that's going to um, fit there. And I can just get that screw back in. So the power consumption on different motherboards is different. Um, with this particular uh, GPU, uh, it's looking for three uh, eight pin PCIe um, ports. Um, but like I said, different motherboards have different power consumptions. Sometimes they're just six pin like this. With the eight pins, you need to just push those two bits together. Um, generally, these cables have two of these, so you can get two eight pins together. But because this particular GPU has three of these, we need two PCIe cables. I've got another PCIe cable with this PSU. I'm just going to push it through uh, that grommet there uh, so I can keep everything nice and tidy going through the grommets. 
and then we'll use both of these cables for the GPU. Cool, so I'm just going to tilt that back over again. So you can see on both cables, you've got two identical sets of pins. And what we're going to do is we're going to use both the pins off this cable and just one of the pins on this cable. Now, what? let me just put that down there. What you need to do is make sure that these are pushed together in a certain way. You can see how that sort of fits over like this. What I'm going to do is put this one in the middle. So I'm going to hold them together. So you can see how this uh, little clip here clips into that little bit of plastic there. So what you do is you just keep your fingers together, keep them all lined up, push it in and you'll be able to hear the click. So with this second one, uh, because you've got like a shorter amount of cable uh, because it's connected to this, it is a little bit more fiddly, but you essentially again just want to line uh, that up hold it together nice and firmly, and then push that in to this side here. And again, it just clicks into place. And then with your second cable, uh, I use uh, this one, this the sort of main PCIe uh, pins on the cable, and the secondary pins can just um, tuck under. So make sure, again, that they're lined up and together like that. Firmly hold them together and then just push them in. And there you go, they're all clipped in. So now that we've installed the GPU, uh, you can see it there through the glass with all of the RGB going, which is lovely. Uh, what we need to do is we need to install the driver for the GPU as well. So in order to do that, you just want to um, open Chrome and search for NVIDIA uh, drivers in Google. So I've just searched uh, for NVIDIA drivers on Google. Uh, just click that first one, download drivers NVIDIA. Uh, then once you're on the download drivers page, at the top here you can search for your particular product. So this is a 30 series RTX 3080. Uh, it's Windows 10 64 bit, and we want the game ready driver. Hit search, then it's gonna show you which driver that you need, uh, hit download. So now it's saying that it's gonna uh, include the NVIDIA display driver and GeForce Experience application in the download. Uh, so GeForce Experience application is what's gonna keep your drivers up to date and optimize the drivers for gaming as well. So you want both of those. Hit download uh, and it's going to uh, take a few minutes to download the uh, file to your computer. So once it's downloaded, you can either open this file from uh, the bottom section of your uh, browser if you're using Chrome and then just hit open or uh, you can go to your downloads and it'll be in there. So just double click it, uh, press OK and it'll start unpacking your display driver and installing it for you. Now that the downloaded file is unpackaged, um, it's going to take you to this graphics driver installer window um, what you want to do is you want to install the NVIDIA graphics driver and GeForce Experience. There's an option there where you can just do one or the other, um, but what I'm going to do is download the driver and GeForce Experience. So hit agree and continue. I'm going to use Express Installation, hit next, and then it will start to install both the driver and the GeForce Experience which will keep your drivers up to date and give you the best gaming experience. So you can see uh, it's all installed now. It's just going to give us a couple of options. It's asking if we want to create a desktop shortcut for GeForce Experience, and it's um, asking if we want to launch GeForce Experience. So I'm just, I'm not going to create a desktop um, shortcut for myself, but you can do that if you want to. Uh, but I will launch GeForce Experience. And you just hit close, and then that is the installation of um, the graphics driver and GeForce Experience completed. All you need to do now is uh, log into GeForce Experience or if you don't have an account, uh, create an account and log in uh, so that you can keep on top of your drivers and GeForce Experience will optimize your game settings, optimize your drivers for whatever games you're playing. Uh, so there you go, that is how to install your 3000 series GPU. Uh, obviously our GPU came with a SAG bracket if uh, yours doesn't and you do want to install one, we'll put a link in the description to a SAG bracket um, th that you can purchase yourself. If you are interested in how GeForce Experience works, uh, let us know in the comments. Um, and if, if you want to see how GeForce Experience works, we can make a video on that for you as well. 
Uh, but thank you for watching. Really appreciate your time. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, subscribing really helps the channel. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and talk to us in the comments if you've got any questions that need answering. There'll be a video just over there somewhere that you can click, something that we think that you'll enjoy as well. And thank you for watching.